Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like audio equipment, speakers, deck, amps, turntables should cost more than crowdfunding your perpetual motion machine because you've figured out a way to break the laws of thermodynamics. And this doesn't. What is it? It's the SVS sound base. It's an amplifier and a streamer. Okay? So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the SVS sound base streaming amplifier. Today's sponsor Buffalo Bills mannequins. They don't have heads or arms, but they're really useful when you're making a suit from various materials. If you're looking for a headless mannequin and armless mannequin torso, consider Buffalo Bills. He used them for a long, long time before he got in trouble. Stay. SVS Sound Bass, streaming amplifier. First, we are gonna talk about how it sounds because it sounds brilliant. This is a Class D amplifier and it sounds mm, as good as any Class D amplifier. Let me re re retract that. Better than any Class D amplifier I have ever heard. And it's not necessarily because of like detail or anything. It's because it has a fullness on the bottom end and the bass in the mid range, which is absolutely addictive. It does not sound like any other Class D I've heard. It's my favorite Class D amplifier. Very synonymous with like a Denon PMA 600NE. I'd argue with better detail on the top. Okay, so I'm getting that out of the way. With all that said, there are some things about this amplifier that may keep you from buying it. And it has nothing to do, in my opinion, about how it sounds. It sounds brilliant. Okay, so let's talk about all the connections and cool stuff on the SVS Soundbase streaming amplifier. All right, connections and everything. Here's another thing I love about this. I can do this. I can even hold it right out in front of me. I can't do that with other amplifiers. No, I can't. Okay, so on the back, we have an auxiliary in, which is an RCA in, so you can hook up anything that has an RCA out. Subwoofer out, okay? auxiliary out so guess what you can use this as a preamp or if you have another amp and you just want to add a streamer to it yeah you can do that it's got a single digital optical in okay and the DAC supports 24 uh, up to 192 all right and then it's got an another aux in RCA so you can actually hook up two analog inputs okay and then it's got Ethernet in, Ethernet out. Also has Wi-Fi 2.4 or 5 gig. All right. So it works on anything and it's good Wi-Fi. It works very well in my house. And it has Bluetooth, Aptex or AAC. All right. So those are, those are the better codecs for Apple and then Android. Okay. Are they the best codecs? No. They're the best codecs for Apple right now. Although on some of their phones you can get LDAC and all that stuff. But don't worry about that. Alright. So Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, RCAs, digital. Alright. This amp covers it all. Alright. Sorry. Let's talk about the streamer. All right, for the streaming section of this and the multi-room section of this product, 
it utilizes the PlayFi platform. PlayFi has been around for a long time, pretty much since the beginning of multi-room streaming, um, wireless speakers, streaming speakers, things like that. Okay. PlayFi has come a long way. One of the challenges with streaming products such as like Heos in the Morans, PlayFi amongst, I don't know, like Polk and a bunch of other companies, they can be a bit clunky. Okay. I will say though that I spent time with the PlayFi app early on and I've spent time with this PlayFi app and it's gotten better. It's gotten better, significantly better. With this streaming app or streaming platform, you can stream high-res music through Amazon HD, high-res music through Tidal, not Tidal Masters, but you still get high-res, high-res music from Kobuz. Also, it's a Spotify endpoint, and frankly, it's also an Amazon Music HD endpoint. It will show up on your actual Amazon HD app or your Amazon Music Unlimited app. Also will show up on Spotify. I don't know if I just said that or not. Okay. Also, it's Amazon Alexa ready. I'm going to see if she says anything. Nope, she didn't say anything. All right. You know what's interesting about this thing? And it also works on the Heos uh, platform as well. If you tell Alexa to play something, it plays instantaneously, which is weird because when you have the app up, and you switch tracks or something, there's oftentimes a bit of a lag. All right. So with PlayFi, you can set up multi zones in your house and you can name it whatever you want. Personally, I named this one Lando because I like Star Wars, which incidentally, if you haven't seen the last episode of The Mandalorian or the second season of The Mandalorian, I highly recommend it. The first episode wasn't that great. All the rest of them were awesome. And the last episode of the second season was really, really cool. All right. For all you people of my age that were born in the mid to late 70s. Remember those movies? Yeah, I highly recommend it. I don't know why we're talking about Star Wars. Okay. So play fine. All right. So we talked about that. We talked about that. We talked about that. All right. Let's talk about build quality and how you control this thing. All right, so here's the caveat to this product for me personally. Controlling this product needs to be done through the PlayFi app or it defaults back to certain inputs, okay? There is not a way that I have found to be able to switch the inputs via the PlayFi, for instance, if I was streaming and then I wanted to listen to my CD player uh, via optical or RCA, I didn't find a way to do that automatically. Now I have reached out to SVS to see if there is like a signal sensing thing that changes the input depending upon the signal. So it has to be done on the front with this little knob right here. Okay. All right. Volume's also over here. By the way, this thing is 150 watts per channel into four ohms. It is monstrously powerful to the point where I literally could barely touch the volume knob. And on this is on low efficiency speakers as well. Literally could barely touch the volume knob. And volume can get out of out of hand in a, in a quick order when you're switching it on the on the app. Okay, so build quality, hmm, it's made mostly out of plastic. There is some metal screenage right here, which is really cool. Frankly, I love the way this thing looks. All right, the screen um, is not fantastic. It works though, it tells you uh, what input you're on. Overall, um, I wish it was built a little bit better but I get it. 
Actually, I don't even wish, like, it's fine, except for, like, I wish the the front panel was a little bit better, and I wish the knobs are a little bit better, okay? But that's just me. Does it affect the sound? Of course not, all right? It's just kind of my deal, all right? So, I wish, it, I, wish I could figure out a better way to switch the inputs, because if I could, this now becomes pretty much my go-to amp wherever I'm at because it's just so convenient and it sounds so good okay so here's my wish list for this product um, I wish that there would be another rev come out of this product and I wish that different product or I don't know SVS sound base 2.0 had a remote which had input switching on the remote volume control and had tone controls with that said I never found a really a reason to change the the sound settings but I just think having tone controls would be would be really nice um, and I wish the uh, display was a bit better and the knobs were a bit better that's it at $500 if it had a remote it would be worth it for the amp alone, in my opinion. Then you get to add a streamer onto it. Is PlayFi the best, smoothest streamer out there? Platform out there? No. But it's as good, if not better, than Heos, which is crammed into a lot of the Marantz and Denon products. It's better than the streaming stuff from, like, Arillic. Or it's... I wouldn't say it's better. It's about the same. It's better because you can play high res, okay? It's fine. I think the only other streamer that may be better is like the Blue Sound stuff. But guess what? That streamer is $500. This is an amp and a streamer for $500. This is a product that personally is completely worth it for me. If it had those other items, it would be an absolute bargain at $500. It's still worth the price of admission right now at $500 just because of how awesome it sounds. I could see some people maybe getting a bit frustrated that they have to use the app to control the volume. Because let's say you're listening to, I don't know, let's say you have your TV running through it, right? It'd be a lot easier if you just had a, I don't know, crappy little, crappy little tiny remote that changes the volume up and down and switches the inputs. Yeah, I, I got nothing bad to say about this. I just wish it was a little different, okay? I just wish it was a little different. Oh, and by the way, guess what, which speakers sound brilliant with this thing? Here we go. SVS Prime bookshelves. Brilliant. I'll tell you what this sounded really good with is the Klipsch RP600M. It filled out the lower mids very, very well. Now, not to the point where it's like, that speaker's perfect. No. A lively speaker paired with this, Yamo C93-2s. To a lesser extent, the SVS Primes, I don't think that's a lively speaker. I think it's a very, very neutral speaker with a, bit of, a, a lot of detail on the top. Any speaker that maybe has some issues with listening fatigue is going to pair well with this. Any like laid back speaker, mm, now it's you're getting extra butter with that speaker, okay? I can't say this is like the highest recommendation ever simply because of some of the operational limitations that it may have. I can say that this is a heck of a recommendation because just because it sounds so good i wish i wish they just made an amp just the amp sell it for i don't know 350 i'd buy just the svs amp with a remote and stuff like that all right brilliant product i love it i love it i love it you want to know the reason why because i can do this and i can take this to any room when i'm testing speakers and I can plop it down and then I can plop another class D that has a bit of a different sound signature to it and I'm not lugging around 
40, 50, 60 pound amplifiers all over the place. It's just super convenient. All right. Great product. Love it. It could be a absolute nobody touches it product. Get a remote and maybe make it better in the front. Remote tone controls make it a little bit better on the front. No one touches this thing. If it stays, if it still continues to sound the same. All right. Okay. So if you want to support the channel, you can subscribe, like this video if you like it. In the description, I have a link to my patron page, Patreon or Patreon. Yeah, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. We do patron only Zooms on Sunday nights and then I do some uh, extra content. Patron only content. Also, you can use any of the links in there. I do get a referral fee. If you purchase through those links, it doesn't cost you any more. Also, you can sign up for Amazon Music HD for free. Click on the link, scroll down to the bottom, click Try HD. I think you still get three months for free, and I get a couple of dollars. Okay? So, I appreciate you all watching today. Don't binge watch anything unless it's The Mandalorian. Binge listen to your favorite streaming service or music or vinyl or CD and fill your soul with happiness.